been alive and kicking for over a decade now, coming back into prominence with Street Fighter Cross Tekken and a virtual avalanche of cross-platform titles seeking to overthrow its more accessible competitors. But does the latest offering from the series finally crack the casual market? Or is the title doomed to die facing the wrong way on a dusty shelf? Alliteration aside, here's our review of Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Tekken has a ton of great characters that fans have been hoping to see make a comeback for what seems like an eternity. This game digs deep into franchise history and pulls out everyone from the alternate skins to the boss unlocks to the joke characters of every arcade stand-up and console port from the last 15 years. Altogether, over 50 fighters spanning every game are thrown together for this tag matchup. So guys who spend all their pizza quarters on Tekken 1 can finally pit June against those little Tekken 3 pukes who spam True Ogre's flame breath at the roller rink. I'm looking at you, Andy. I can see you through the computer. Casual players run and hide because this game is not for you. Your weak displays of five hit kick combos and feeble grapple holds mean nothing to those who will derive full enjoyment from this title, hardcore fighting fanatics. This game is not as flashy as Persona or Street Fighter, but there's a satisfying depth to the move pool that makes duels between two pros seem more like an art house film. You can see the rhythm begin to form as throws move into parries, which move into counters. The new tag combos fit right in. Or you can opt for a single fighter if you feel like focusing on one character instead of two. You can even create a customized combat that uses moves from any of the characters you've beaten in tutorial mode, proving even more that this whole game really is a love letter to the fans. Next, taking a page from Mortal Kombat, Tekken Tag 2 has an almost stupefying number of unlocks, most in the form of gear to equip your team, a la Virtua Fighter. But unlike Virtua Fighter, the stuff you equip can actually be used in combat. Did you equip a grenade? Throw it! It explodes and knocks the opponent back. Pick up a sledgehammer? Swing that bad boy for a good time. Pizza pan? Hey, you can throw it just like a giant ninja star, pie included. Eh, the Ninja Turtles would be proud. Not only is it a great way to show off, but it adds a lot of crazy gambits to the fairly formulaic counter-based fights. Now that we've covered the great, let's get to the suck. We love all the characters, but it basically guarantees that the roster is not balanced. Because of the Tekken engine, fighters like Brian Fury show up every other match, while the dreadlord Eddie Gordo continues to play like the wet dream of every button masher ever to mash. Slow characters that string together multiple big hits take a lot of time to master, while the advanced multi-stance death dealers like Zafina almost never appear in multiplayer due to the time it takes to learn effective maneuvers. Next, Tekken is a momentum-based fighter. It's all about stringing together long combos from which your opponent can't easily recover, hopefully leading to a deadly air juggle. There are a number of basic countermeasures to prevent this, but trying to pull any of them off is going to reveal a very dark truth about you as a player. You suck. Series fans will have the controls down pat, but if you're not a fighting game fanatic or don't have the patience to master your characters, you're going to become very familiar with the words, you lose. Even the in-depth training mode can become an embarrassing lesson in humility. Jump into the online matchmaking lobby and you'll soon discover that it's populated by the mighty warlords from the High Court of Tekken. It's not very accessible to anyone who isn't fully committed. And in general, it just kind of makes you feel bad. And finally, look, I get that while online play should come standard with games that support it, the trend in the industry is to gate it with an online pass that only comes with new copies. But fighting games is where I draw the line. I mean, come on, there isn't enough single player content available for the $60 price tag, even with the hundreds of prostitute outfits you can buy. This isn't a story-driven entry in the series, it's a spin-off title that's solely about competition. This isn't some Spartan horde mode for Mass Effect either. It's the bread and butter of the game. Way to shaft the little guy, Namco. It's a close fight, but the pros versus the cons result in a score of seven out of 10. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is not accessible to casual players in the slightest, but it really does speak to gamers looking for some quality Tekken nostalgia. It's got enough unlocks to keep you hooked after the magic is worn off with a few little surprises here and there for the truly dedicated. Really, the biggest gripe here is, well, most people just won't be able to get into it. But for those who will, you're looking at something pretty special.